just finished cleaning Bubble and Squeak's gerbilarium, so I thought I would give you a quick tour. So because I've just cleaned them out, the boys are actually in their carrier there, so I thought this would be a perfect time to give you a tour just before they end up trashed in the cage. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, the bedding they are on is actually like three different beddings. So I've used shavings on the bottom, then hay, then shavings, and then this paper bedding stuff from Wilkinson's. So I don't normally use shavings, but I got a free packet of shavings with their cage, so I thought I'd just use them and get them out of the way. So I have buried toys underneath the bedding, so it doesn't look like they've actually got that much, but the fact is it's all buried underneath. So. In this front corner here there is a tube buried under there, you might be able to see it a little bit. And then they've got a fiddlesticks bridge and then they have a cardboard box there. And then in the back corner we have their, uh, I think this is a climbing tower, I'm not too sure what it's called but either way the boys love it. They have a little wooden block from Pets at Home just back there and then they have a house just there. And then underneath like I said there are a few toys which are all hidden. So then on this side here we have a little wooden perch there, then we have a little wooden ledge and then we have another little wooden perch. So the boys like to sit by the door when they want to come out so I thought that it would be perfect to put those there rather than then having to sit on the level so they can now have the choice to sit on the perches or the level. And then on the level here we have a coconut hut, we have the garland running across the top there, then in the back corner we have like a little hay tree. Then that little green thing is just a wood block. We have a nut nut nibbler and then we have their hanging bridge which they love and they are slowly destroying all the toys on it. And then we have a sand ball just here and then up here we actually have a edible garland. So everything on it is edible and it's basically like made out of alfalfa and a few other things. So I thought that would be really nice for the boys and it will take them a while to chew through as well. And then here we just have their food bowl, so I did have a coop cup in there but I decided to change the bowl, so they just have a nice little red bowl there. And then around this side here we just have their water bottle, so the spout of their water bottle is just above their house there, I'm not too sure if you can see that. So basically they can jump on their house and get to their water because I did have the water bottle on this side but I noticed they were struggling to get to their water bottle once they've dug all the bedding how they liked it so I thought if I put that there they can jump on the house and get a drink easily so yeah that is just a quick cage tour of the boys now I'm just going to go ahead and put them back in their cage <laughs> boys cage tour and I hope you like this video and if you have any questions then please feel free to comment and as always I'll try to answer. The boys are still darting around their cage like mad. They absolutely love it when I do a cage clean but with the bed and it looks like there's not a lot but the fact is it's because it's all packed down so once I put it all in I pack it all down for them so then they can have fun basically unpacking it and making a ton of mess so that's why it only looks like it's half full but when I filled it it actually came up to about here so yeah anyways i'm just gonna go now and stop babbling and thank you so much for watching guys and as always thank you so much for the support and please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye